Hey guys, it's Corey from Cruises Reviews. Hope you're doing great today. I am starting a new series. Technically, I started it a couple weeks ago with a single video, but I liked doing the video so much that I decided to start a series about the coffee shops around Birmingham. So this is my second location. It's called Santos Coffee and Bar. It's in downtown Birmingham, uh, and it is attached to the Weston Hotel. This used to be a place called Octane Coffee, which I really enjoyed. So I thought I've got to pick up the kids from daycare. Why don't I run down here and do a quick review? So if you enjoy this, please consider hitting the like button. Also, if you have other suggestions, your favorite coffee shops, things like that, please get in the comments below and tell me where I need to review next. So without further ado, let's get started. I was going to do the review inside. <laughs> when I drove by, it didn't look very crowded. Then I walked in and I realized there were a bunch of people in there uh, trying to get work done. And I have a loud voice, if you can't tell, and did not want to be talking on camera, interrupting everybody's day, because that's not what I'm all about. So um, I got a coffee, um, I took some B-roll, and so I'm gonna tell you what I thought. So first of all, the name implies coffee shop and bar, and actually, uh, the old coffee shop that was here, Octane, was just that. It was a coffee shop, and at night you could go in for a drink. This is especially uh, great if you're about to go to a concert, and the restaurants down here in Uptown are really crowded, right? So this is just a nice, easy place to pop in and get a beer. They don't have that. I guess when Octane closed and they opened, they don't have a liquor license. I talked to the woman. She said that they are at least another probably six months away from being able to get a liquor license and implement any alcohol. Uh, so it's gonna be a while if that's what you're here for. Now, on the other side, the coffee's good, right? I wouldn't say it's like mind blowing. I've certainly had better coffee in the past, uh, but it's good coffee and it's certainly not disappointing. It's not Starbucks, it doesn't taste kind of syrupy, it doesn't taste like burnt uh, or anything like that. So definitely solid coffee, but I think there are better places in Birmingham. As far as the decor goes, I like the decor. I like that kind of industrial kind of feel. Uh, this is a lot of metal, it's a lot of wood. It's pretty comfy, but it's not like super like old school coffee shop comfortable. Uh, but you know, generally speaking, it wasn't bad. So as far as price is concerned, we're not talking about super cheap coffee, but it's not outrageously expensive. A large coffee is gonna cost you about five bucks if you're getting stuff in it, right? So I had a coffee with some caramel and some milk and it's an iced coffee. So they charged me about five bucks. It was about six bucks after tip. Uh, so we're talking about Starbucks pricing, not gas station pricing, but that's to be expected. It's a nicer coffee shop. Uh, the decor is nice. The coffee quality is, is solid. Um, so it's about on par with what you would expect from a nice coffee shop. One other thing I want to mention about the coffee itself, the one of my biggest gripes about a place like Starbucks is that it's very inconsistent. Some people, when you say, hey, I want skim milk or I want no whipped cream or something like that, they listen and they do it, right? Uh, and some places at Starbucks, it's like they, they don't care what you say, <laughs> they're gonna make it the way they want to make it, right? Um, this place, they were super attentive. I said, hey, I want this uh, caramel, whatever it was called, but I want it to taste more like coffee and a lot less like caramel. I don't want a lot of sugar in this, I just want a, a touch of it. And you can tell, she actually listened, she repeated back to me, and then when she handed it to me, she repeated it again. And so that's exactly what I got. And that to me is the most valuable thing, right? I can forgive a little more expensive. I can forgive a little bit smaller coffee shop. I can forgive not the greatest quality coffee in the history of the world. If you'll listen to me and give me a good drink of what I'm expecting, uh, that makes all the difference. And for that, 
I can say they definitely did that. So that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please consider hitting the like button. And uh, yeah, we will see you next time. Thanks. Hey, Sophia. Say cheers, everybody. Can you say cheers? Cheers. Cheers.